Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to do a 30 week pregnancy update. I haven't really been doing pregnancy updates, but I thought with just a couple of months to go, it might be time to do one. So here we go. Um, for those of you who are new here, I have a two year old son as well and another baby boy on the way. So um, overall, this pregnancy has felt a lot easier than the last one. And I think it's just because everything is a little bit less overwhelming the second time around. I think the first time um, it's a real shock when you have to go to so many appointments and checkups and like things like that. It's just a little bit overwhelming. You don't know what to expect. And with like the tiredness and the body aches and everything's new and you're always Googling everything like, what is this? Is this normal? Is this related to pregnancy? But then second time around, I think you've just been there, done that. So you kind of just take it in your stride and get on with it. But overall, I do actually think it has been less uncomfortable than the first time. Um, unless I'm just forgetting and that stuff is still to come. I'm not sure. Um, excuse me drinking my tea it is uh eight o'clock in the morning and Lindsay and jed have just gone for a little walk so this stuff that i am experiencing at the moment i would say for me it was week 26 when i started like i remember distinctly i started to feel uncomfortable at week 26 just with the bigness of the tummy and some foot swelling started to set in um so the things that i'm Sort of dealing with at the moment that are that are more difficult are um the foot swelling when i sit down like at my desk working for a while my feet just balloon up um last pregnancy i got carpal tunnel in my wrists mostly this one and that has just started in the last week but not so bad that i've had to wear like um a, a guard on my arm yet Sleep is absolutely shocking. I'm, but then again, not usually the best sleeper anyway, but yeah, sleep's taking a hit. What else? Um, 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 um. That's probably it, to be honest, with the discomfort side of things. Um, yeah, it is a, a little bit harder to, to move around as I'm getting bigger, but like I said, it just feels a bit easier this time and probably because I've done it before, but also because I've got a toddler, so my attention is is elsewhere and you don't really, you can't really have a pity party. You just have to get on with it. And the other thing is I have gestational diabetes again, which is annoying. Um, so I found that out a couple of weeks ago, but uh, so gestational diabetes is, is a pest. It's, it's an annoying thing to have to just deal with when you when you don't really want to think about it um, but I'm finding it so much easier than last time because I had it with with my son as well I was very overwhelmed in the first pregnancy because when you get gestational diabetes you have to go to an educator you have to like learn how to take your bloods and all, all of this stuff and then I was on insulin it was just a very overwhelming time I found it really hard and then this time I did get I did get a little upset when I found out I had it again but then I kind of just got over it mm -hmm. and oh sorry um, I'm waiting for a grocery delivery so let me just see I bet they're gonna come right now Oh, no, they're going to come during lunch. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, just from a mental perspective, it wasn't that giant hurdle to overcome this time. And, you know, you have to have extra scans and you have to, like, keep in contact with the diabetes people. It just seems easier this time. But I think part of that is because of the um, coronavirus uh, restrictions and stuff my appointments for that are happening over the phone and through email so it's just a lot less 
um, it's not it doesn't feel like double the appointments it's um it's less it's easier so um so yeah that's that's the physical side of it i guess okay so how am i feeling about the actual birth and whatnot i have to be honest i'm feeling very nervous last experience was not great and i'm 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 nervous. I'm really nervous about the pain. I'm nervous about how it's all going to go down. But I'm trying to keep calm. I'm trying to keep centered and just... I'm doing yoga and I'm doing some exercise to kind of stretch out my body and just try and stay calm and just sort of prepare myself for, for how I'm going to get through it and uh yeah it's hard though to plan or prepare for anything because you really don't know how it's you really don't know how it's gonna go so yeah i'm nervous but i'm trying not to dwell on it because i know this it's gonna come out soon and there's nothing i can do about it so yeah and this is gonna this is might sound really strange but I'm actually, with the uh, social distancing and, and stuff like that that's going on at the moment, I'm actually feeling kind of, I'm actually okay with it, so long as Lindsay can come to the hospital and so long as my parents can get here to look after Jed, um, I'm actually feeling okay about it. And the reason is because um, I am... Uh, I'm not an, I guess I am more of an introvert. I'm definitely more an introvert than an ex extrovert, but I like my space. And last time when Jed arrived, and I found the um, frequency and the frequency of visits to the hospital and to a house was way, it was way too much for me on at any time, but particularly at that time when everything was so fresh and new, I found it really hard to deal with. And I am actually quite okay with the fact that this time it's going to be more low key, that we can just adjust with our little family and not sort of have to worry about visitors coming and going. And yeah, that's just the honest truth. I. I feel like last time it was difficult because it was like a short term time after Jed's arrival and everyone everyone was kind of getting to, to hold him and I was sort of like, I want to hold him. He's been in me for nine months and I want to hold him. I just want to hold my baby. And it was hard because with like, like many people, I had struggles with breastfeeding at the start, which meant that I did the feed and then would have to um, pump for like 20 or so minutes after. So I would have to hand him over. And so in those first few weeks, I didn't really get to just hold him asleep very much. Like feeding is one thing, but it's, it's not that comfortable and you're sort of focused on what's going on and if it's working and what you're doing and it's not the most comfortable. So I was sort of missing out on that, just getting to cuddle my baby and have him drift off to sleep and stuff like that. And I, I'm, I'm hopeful that this time is hopefully a little bit different because I just think I know even if, even if we do have unforeseen breastfeeding struggles at the start i know that i know that whatever happens that there's light at the end of the tunnel with getting through that and i just feel like i'm gonna be able to i'm gonna know what i'm doing a bit more i'm gonna be able to handle it a bit better and i would like to have that that cuddle time with my newborn baby and um yeah so I'm actually feeling okay about the lack of sort of pressure to fit everyone in 
in that sense. So yeah, um, that's okay. I think we need it. And at the same time, this um, I, I go back and forth with how this social distancing thing is going. Some days it feels really hard to not be seeing friends and family and but at the same time I feel more relaxed just as a person in general at the moment because of all of this I just feel like life is less go 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 it's less okay what have we gone got on this week what activity do we have to go to and yeah those things are, are great when you um they <laughs> give you something to do they're good for the children la 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 but at the same time it's just it's just been refreshing to just go with the flow and not be having FOMO about what other people are doing there's there's just something very calming about that at this time before having a baby prep wise we're pretty good on that that front I, a few weeks ago, I spent a couple of days doing, a couple of days during nap time, doing, doing online shopping of all the little bits and pieces that we need for um, the new baby. And I'll do a little video to show you what we've got. So aside from the pram, we're, we're nearly set with everything. And then it's just gonna be a case of, I need to, we need to get all the gear that's in storage out, like bouncer and, you know, all that gear. Um, breast pump, blah, blah, blah. Get all that out. We need to rearrange our room to fit in bassinet and make room for like baby's clothes and stuff. Because in this house, there isn't a room for the baby. Um, which is fine because it would be in our room initially anyway and and wash the clothes so I've I've sorted through Jed's clothes into like an age groups so I need to wash them and just get everything ready in that way so I'm pretty much feeling I'm feeling really prepared I am feeling more prepared than last time i think last time we we didn't really get out all of the gear like i didn't pre-unbox the breast pump i didn't like have the kitchen set up or have i just we just didn't have like the change station set up we had every we had all the stuff we just didn't set it up before baby arrived i think in my head i thought i'll just be able to do it when we get him home but in reality we were like so sleep deprived and just like shell shocked by the whole thing and it was like a heat wave so that was not a good idea this time we're going to be nice and prepared i hope so yeah overall um coming along quite well with with the preparation i think and yeah only a couple of short months to go so I hope you've enjoyed this pregnancy update. I'll show you a little side profile bump shot. So let's just go and do that now. Okay, I'm wearing my big moo moo today. So it's not the best profile, but that is the bump at 30 weeks. Um, that's the front shot. This dress is um, sort of shapeless. So it's not the best, but get the sort of picture hmm. so um i guess i don't know where to look here do i look at myself do i look there do i look there thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll talk to you soon bye